Bernie Kosar and Vinny Testaverde were recruited that very first year that we were there. Jim Kelly was going to be a senior, so we kind of knew that we would have one year to learn to try to be the starting quarterback at the University of Miami. We cut it down to uh, the top five. We got number one and number three in our, in our judgment. We've never said to this day who was number one and who was number three, and we don't intend to tonight. We do our first day of testing, and you know, Vinny's throwing up 325 like five times. And, you know, I have a buck 85 almost caved my chest in. And we go out and run, and Vinny's running a 4740, and I'm running a five flat 30. And, you know, his form's perfect. Mine sucked. You know, I, I really was discouraged and went to coach and asked about transferring and kind of thought I was just going to be a backup and I was never going to get a chance to play. And Coach Stoneberger, he goes, you know, it doesn't look good for you. That's true. You're the one position where the physical talents are important, but the mental abilities and talents are even more important. And I gave you my word that I promise you, you're going to have a chance to start. Kosar wasn't named the Hurricane starting quarterback until nine days before the opening college game against the University of Florida. Coach Schnellenberger could have taken a safe, easy route with a way more athletic quarterback like Vinny, and nobody would have complained. But he had this feeling, he had this vision, he had this great gift that told him that I should have been the quarterback, and God bless him.